I was telling him this story of having these three seven-year-olds in the airplane. And uh, we were doing an event and off we went. And as we rolled down the runway, they went, whoa! <laughs> Could barely hear ATC. And then they all started talking at once. Oh, wow, look at that, look at that. It's so beautiful, it's so beautiful up here. We should come up here all the time. We should be pilots. We're sitting at Burlington International Airport in South Burlington, Vermont. Uh, we're at the ramp at Vermont Flight Academy. It's a flight school that serves as the primary flight training partner of Vermont State University. The students really get an opportunity to have a diversified flying experience. As far as the college is concerned, one of the nice, well, several of the nice things is that the campus is only a mile and a half away. Vermont Flight Academy also has a significant uh, part 61 customer base here in the United States for people from the community that are interested in getting their pilot certificate or pursuing a professional pilot career. Squawk 0220. Pressure is the one Squawk 0220. I would say that it's a pretty big transition, but we're definitely prepared for it and ready for this. When we, uh, you know, arrived at, yes, Technum is going to be the airplane for us. Um, it, it filled a lot of unique things for us. IFR rated, um, uh, nice glass, but glass is user friendly, a consistent um, a package for us to use. It was pretty nice uh, moving into something, you know, a whole lot newer and more advanced. I think the transition has actually been pretty seamless. The airplane flies pretty intuitively. Uh, in flying 172s to the Mentors, um, it's not that big of a change. They're obviously a lot more technologically advanced. Flying an airplane is flying an airplane, right? We have stick and rudder skills. We have decision making skills. I think if anything, the, the big transition is a technically advanced aircraft, right? I love the aircraft. As a general aviation pilot that has owned my own airplane, I do a lot of cross country IFR flying. I, I instantly was inspired by the stability, the control responsiveness, as well as the, the state-of-the-art flight deck auto flight control system. It, it is a great training platform from my perspective. We have a dual G3X, um, so full touchscreen, primary flight display, and multifunction display with our engine instruments. You know, getting to the new age of glass cockpit uh, is more precise. You know, there's a lot more tools available to the pilot. Something that's on the front of our minds right now is reducing our carbon footprint as much as possible. It only burns about four gallons an hour in cruise. Trying to maintain good economics for both a, a flight training organization, but also keeping our prices affordable for our students. We're making pilots that understand technology and we're making pilots that if the technology fails, they can still fly the plane. So certainly we, we run a business here. The ability to have a successful and financially viable business is important, but I think all of us at Vermont Flight Academy are here because of our love and passion for the industry. Well, we're going to approach 364 here, Papa, on the net.